Now that was in 1978, and the Deer City Council, bless them, gave me the decision seven weeks before uh, the motor show was due to open. Well, my staff uh, worked very hard indeed with me, and we pulled off the first on the street spectacular, taking over about a mile and a half of Birmingham city streets, and inviting one or two personalities, the likes of Sterling Moss, Roy Salvadori, Innes Island, etc., and 120 of my good friends from the motor sport uh, side of, of, of British motor racing to bring their cars and put on parades. I think it's fantastic. I mean, the idea of Grand Prix cars, old ones and new ones, but Grand Prix cars being on the English streets is something that, well, it's been too long. I mean, I wish the hell it had happened when I was racing. Can I interrupt you? You're driving, what, a C-Type Jaguar today? Yes. How much take you back a bit? Well, it does. In fact, it takes me further back than my ex career. I never ever raced one. You didn't? Well, not if everybody, you know, behaves, uh, and I think they will. They've had a very severe briefing, and I hope we'll set an example. Should be a good day. I hope so. What do you think of the Birmingham circuit itself? Oh, terrific. If only we could really close the roads and have a race today, I'd be even happier. You know, I mean, the fact that we're going to have to go around slowly, I think is terrific. But if ever it gets to being a race, it would be sensational. I think it's a marvellous idea, I really do, and I hope it takes off. Yeah. I mean, look at the crowd here today. I mean, look at the 75,000 here. A lot of people. 